I got Aisha Chantal here and today I'm going to be talking about 10 ways that you can make extra money online. So a few weeks ago I mentioned that I had made some extra money online, a bit of a side hustle from my day jobs and I asked you guys if you would be interested and I got a resounding yes. Yes, you would like me to do a video about side hustles and different places online that you can make some extra income. This is pretty much something that me and John have done all the way through university and we still occasionally do now if we have A, some spare time and B, if we want some extra money on the side. So these are not full-time jobs. These are not jobs that you can make a living off. You could probably make a living if you did all of them, if you wanted to, but um, I don't suggest that you could make a living off any of these as single jobs. They would have to be combined multiply. This is also not about starting an online business. I still think the best way, obviously, to make a full-time online income is actually to start your own business um, and work around that. And these are not about selling online. Yes, you can make plenty of money selling unwanted items on Facebook or eBay or Amazon, but that is not what this video is about. So I will start with the ones where you can probably make the most amount of money and potentially you could turn them into full-time jobs if you chose that you wanted to, but they would require the effort of a full-time job to allow you to get a full-time income from them. So one of the major ways to make money online is by blogging. I have been a blogger for nine years now. I was blogging kind of before it became cool to be a blogger. Um, I ran a fashion blog originally for five years and then I started Two Hearts One Roof about four years ago and that is my current one. That is kind of like family, lifestyle, food, parenting, travel based. It's a bit of everything really and that is my little home. Um, writing was always my passion before I discovered YouTube. I still like to write, I just like YouTube a little bit more now. So there are a number of different ways you can make money through blogging. Obviously there is Google AdSense, but unless you have hundreds of thousands of views per month, it does not make a lucrative income, sadly. So the two top ways I would say to make income on blogging is first of all, affiliate sales. This is when you promote a product or you link to a product within one of your blog posts. And if it's an affiliate link, every time somebody clicks on it and purchases on that website, you make a percentage of that sale. You need to sign up to different affiliate schemes to be able to do this. There are websites which allow you to sign up to multiple companies in one go, or some companies only deal with their own affiliate sales, so you have to go directly through them. The easiest way to find out which of these options works is if you know you're going to be writing about a certain product, simply go onto their website and search for their affiliate sales section. Sometimes you'll find it right at the bottom of their website, there'll be an affiliate section at the bottom and just find out how you become an affiliate. Amazon Affiliates is quite a big one and eBay Affiliates, they both have their own schemes. Other than that, I will put links in the box below to places like Affiliate Window, which is, as far as I'm concerned, the number one that I use, um, and you can sign up through them to start promoting products. The second way to make money through blogging is sponsored posts. Sometimes companies want to pay you to post specific articles, either a pre-written article, which some bloggers don't take, but occasionally I do, and then sometimes they just want you to talk about a product or a service or link back to for instance a sale that's happening in their company at the moment and they will pay you to put a link on your website to them so your readers can find them this is probably the biggest earner for most bloggers um, as companies are usually quite willing to pay larger sums of money if you have a good readership or following if you're a blogger, you also might have a big social media following, so you can be paid to promote and talk about products on Facebook or Instagram or Twitter as well. The next way, obviously, is to have a YouTube channel. This is something new that I have discovered, obviously. Um, I've had my Two Hearts, One Roof channel 
I've had it about two years, but I've only actually been using it as a vlogging channel since December uh, 2016 when I did Vlogmas. I do make a small income over on Two Hearts One Roof, uh, but since YouTube made their changes that you now need a thousand followers and 4,000 hours uh, before you can monetize, it means that smaller channels need to make themselves into slightly bigger channels before they are able to monetize their channel. This channel is not monetized yet. We are getting there guys though. How much you make on YouTube can vary hugely. It really depends on how many people watch your videos, how long they watch your videos for, and also the niche market of what you're filming about. If there is something very specific that you have knowledge on or are interested in, you might find that it's something that a lot of people wanna watch or people specifically look for. So you might be able to build your following and your subscribers pretty quickly and you will be able to monetize there are lots of videos out there on how much people really make, but at the moment, I do not make a lot of money from it. I do not make money on this channel and over on my other channel, I probably only make about, on average, 15 to $20 a month at the moment, but I only have 1,100 subscribers. So, you know, it's a start. And again, this is all about side hustles, so every little helps. If it's something you like to make videos on anyway, then you're not losing out anything. Plus, the more content you put out there, the more chance you are have of building your subscribers, building your followers and your views and turning your little community into something that you will make money on. So just kind of keep going at it, really. So the next one I want to talk about is a specific online writing site. If you like the idea of blogging, then great, get your own website but you might also like the idea of just putting odd articles out there rather than trying to build up a following and marketing your own work. And I have been using a site called Hubpages. I joined Hubpages about seven years ago and you can write pretty much on any topic. They do like you to have uh, like a good use of grammar and good layout, but they give you lots and lots of tools to make your articles look professional. My Hubpages account has around 140 articles on it now, I think, across a huge range of subjects. It was something I did when I first came out of uni. Um, I put a lot of work into it at the time and I was making around $50 a month probably out of it. Um, it pays off views off uh, a type of Google AdSense. They use their own version now, and you can also put the odd affiliate links into it for things like Amazon. If you have knowledge of a specific niche yet again, it can be a great way to make money. If you can write useful articles for people that are searching for very specific things, then you can find that you can rank quite well for them if you have good SEO skills or if you can get it pinned onto Pinterest and repinned a lot, I find that that really helps people click through. So her pages is very much about passive income, which is why I am a big champion of it. I haven't actually written an article on the site for around four years. So my 140 articles are on there. Some of them are featured content, which means that they are moved into the smaller, separate websites within hub pages and then some of them are just on my own little writing site within hub pages and anybody that clicks through a link either finding it through google search or through pinterest or when they've been shared through other people's pages it means that i make a small amount of money anytime anybody's on the page or clicks on an ad on the page even though i haven't written on it for around four years i still make a pretty decent income on it mainly from seasonal articles that i have so throughout the summer, I only get a paycheck every other month. Um, but over the Christmas season between October and February, I will get a paycheck straight through to my PayPal every month. And I probably make around two and a half thousand dollars a year from it without actually having to do any work on it. So this is a really, really great one if you want long term passive income, if you have content that can last evergreen content. If you are interested in Hub Pages, I will pop a link in the box below so you guys can go check it out. 
go see my page, see the type of stuff that I have on there. Like I said, it is a huge range of random content. At the time, it was whatever I kind of felt like posting. Uh, so there are recipes, there are craft articles, there are informative articles on places to visit and natural remedies for hay fever, rather weirdly, was something I wrote at some point in time. But you can really write about any topic you want, which is why it's great if you like writing, but you're not focused on something specific. My one tip though is to try and write evergreen content or seasonal content or content that answers a question. Sadly, creative writing or writing on something that is very time specific, like something political, won't last over time. So it won't be classed as passive really because the likelihood of people finding it on two or three years time, it's very, very slim. The next one is actually new to me. This is something that me and John have only recently found. Um, I actually don't know if you can do this in the States or whether it is only a UK based thing, um, but it's a system called matched betting. Now don't panic. It, okay, it's technically gambling, but it's risk free gambling. I will try and explain it in the briefest, simplest form. But when you sign up to a lot of betting sites online, so Coral, William Hill, Betfair, Betfred, Betway, all of those different sites, quite often when you sign up, they will say things like, bet £10, get £30 in bets free. So what you're going to do is you're going to bet the £10 and you're going to use a bet exchange to bet against that £10. So they cancel each other out. You don't win any money and you don't lose any money. Sometimes you lose a few pence, literally like 20 pence, say. But then you get access to that £30 free bet. But it has to be bet, you can't take it in cash. So then you do exactly the same. You bet the, ten, the, the £30 free money and then you bet against it on the bet and exchange. And by doing this, you can extract around 70% of that original free money. So if you bet like 30 pound free bet, you can usually get about 22 pound profit out of that without losing any money. Uh, to do this, I do use a website called Profit Accumulator. I'm signed up to it. Um, I will put a link in the box below again. If you sign up, if you decide to try it out for free, they allow you to uh, do two offers and you can make about £45 straight away out of those two offers. And the website makes it so simple. It literally gives you step-by-step -step videos of how to do it exactly. They make it so simple to do. And then you can sign up to it. It is £17 a month, but I can make that back off one bet usually. Um, I did a trial on it for two weeks last month. You do need some money to start it up. They say around £100 to start it, to have those initial bets. Um, I actually had £350 to start with it. And over 10 days, I made £450 profit in 10 days. And I didn't put a huge amount of time into it really. When you first join up, you do have to take the time to sign up to the betting sites. And you kind of have to take the time to learn the processes but again it does give you the step by step so it's really really easy to follow but yeah I made £450 within 10 days. Now you keep getting reload offers they're called so even though you've signed up and you've had the initial offer you will still get sent other offers by the betting companies either via your web page, um, your email address or you can get them through the Profit Accumulator website so William Hill over the Cheltenham period sent me emails every day offering me £10 free bets if I placed a £10 bet. So just off that I was making around £7 every time I did that bet um, without any risk. So it is something that you kind of need to look into and learn a little bit about if you're going to do it. But it's been really, really great and me and John will be both pursuing it a bit more over the coming months. The other great thing about it is that it is tax free. So if you are in the UK, the, any sort of tax free earning is awesome, but because it's classed as gambling winnings, it is tax free. 
So yay, yay, some tax-free money. Um, even if you're just using it to put aside a savings, which is what me and John are using, we're using it to partially pay down debt and partially put aside for savings. Like I said, it is new to me, but I will pop a link in the box below. I know a number of people who have been doing it for years and still make an income of between 500 and 1,000 pound a month just off reload offers. So it's definitely worth looking at if you are genuinely interested in side hustles and earning extra money online. So the next one is micro job sites. You might have heard of these. There are a lot of them out there. Personally, I champion Fiverr. This is a site that pretty much got me through university for quite a number of years and actually got me through a few years after university as well. This allows you to put ads out there for small online tasks and jobs um, and people find you and hire you to do different things online. So this is particularly great if you do have a skill of some sort that people can pay you for. Um, I have a journalism degree so I provided proofreading mostly proofreading, the odd bit of copy editing, the odd bit of blog writing, but mainly proofreading. I did a lot of proofreading. <laughs> um, I was making probably around £200 a month. Again, I was doing this alongside working a job or in university, and I was making an extra £200 a month, purely proofreading people's websites or people's ebooks or in some cases, university students' essays. Yes, you do need to have a good grasp of English to be able to do proofreading and have a good knowledge of grammar. So I only advise you go in for these jobs if you can actually do them. But maybe you're skilled at drawing or graphic design or, do you know what? There are so many jobs on there, ridiculous. John did some photo editing on there for other people. Some really, really basic, like simply being able to change pictures to black and white or to be able to crop images or cut images in certain ways. There is an absolute multitude of different skills you can advertise on there. So do take a look at it. Some of it is quite simple skills. Some of it is more skilled and Fiverr also allows you to charge more than five pounds now, or five dollars. Um, they've changed the system on there, so you're not just making five dollars for things. You can have a scaling system or you can have additional extras. We have actually used Fiverr to purchase a number of things over the years because we found a lot of good graphic designers on there. Both of my trailers my one over on Two Hearts One Roof and my one on this one are made by people on Fiverr and the logo for Life Sorted is made by somebody off Fiverr. There are links in the box below. So the next five things I'm gonna tell you about are small income earners. These are not, you cannot make as much money from them as the previous five things, but they're kind of things that I do ad hoc on the side where I've got a few minutes. I will quickly check these kind of places to see if there's any ways to make money. First up was one of my favourites that I discovered, again, just after I finished uni, I think, Slice the Pie. It's a pretty simple concept website. Usually it is music related, but every now and again they have uh, clothing items or decor items that come up randomly. And it is simply a case of you listen to a piece of music or you look at a product and then you write a really brief review. It doesn't need to be a huge wordy review. Um, I think there's a limit on like, it has to be like 50 words long or something. So there is a limit on it, but you simply have to write a small review on it, hit submit, and they pay you a few cents every time you do it. Sometimes they can send you an email if they happen to be having a specific range of things that they need reviewing in a short space of time and they will bump the commission up on it. Sometimes the commission is only around 10 cents a time, but over the last few months they've been pushing to have decor items and fashion items reviewed and they've been given 40 cents a review, which considering it takes me literally a minute and a half, maybe two minutes to write something quickly, is actually a really good return. And you can cash straight out to your PayPal once you reach I think it's five dollars. 
So it can be a really simple way to make money quickly, even if it's just a few pence, it's a bit on the side and it's a bit extra to put into your savings or your bank account. Along the same lines as that are phone apps that allow you to make money. If you would like a more thorough video on this, do let me know guys, because I have a few on my phone that I currently use and a few that I've used in the past. A few that pay via vouchers, but a few that actually pay via cash into your PayPal. Again, there's something that you only spend a few seconds on a day, a few minutes on a day, just to try and make a little bit of money. But if you run a few of them, they can add up. There are three that I am currently using that convert to actual cash into your PayPal account. So those are Vox Pop Me, One Pulse, and Quick Thoughts. Those are the three I currently use um, because they are yeah straight cash into your PayPal and they are UK ones, or they at least they allow UK people because quite often you will find people talking about these and they only allow US people to use them, so it's not so great. Um, so Vox Pop Me is simply, they send you a question on the app. I do have push notifications set up for it because they can fill up pretty quickly. Um, so they send you a question and you have to film a 60 second response to it or up to 60 seconds. It has to be over 30 seconds, up to 60 seconds. And it's really simple. It can be as easy as um, them asking you about what you think of the Skoda brand or they can send you a link to a, a YouTube advert for the latest IKEA advert and they ask you for your opinion on it or they can ask you what your favourite chocolate bar is and why. It's really really simple and it only takes a minute to record it and then hit upload and that is it and they usually pay between 25 pence and £1.50 uh, sometimes they can ask you to do a few in a sequence over a certain amount of time and they will pay a premium if you do that. One Pulse, One Pulse hasn't been so great over the last few months but it was really really great before that so I'm hoping it might start improving again. Again it sends you a push notification of questions that have come up and it's usually only three questions, multiple choice usually, you just answer the questions and hit submit and again, it pays you around 16 pence to around 75 pence each time you do it. So it's really, really simple. Quick Thoughts is one I discovered last year and I've made quite a few, I've probably had cash out on it quite a few times now. I think you have to wait until it gets to 10 pound to cash out or you can let it go a bit higher. Um, and they pay around one pound to three pound, I think it is per survey. The surveys do take a bit longer on this, they are more in-depth surveys, um, so they can take around 15 minutes. Uh, but again, if you're just sitting down somewhere waiting, then it's worth just doing it on your phone, it's nice and easy. So I will pop links to all of those in the box below if you are interested in getting those. Online survey websites is the next one, again there are an absolute ton of them out there but most recently I have been using three specific ones that happen to pay a little bit better so Pinecone Research, Prolific Academy and I forgot Populous Live. I usually just get them straight through my emails so I don't have to think about them. So these ones tend to pay a little bit better and they don't always take as long so it's been quite quick I've managed to make payout on all of these within a month usually um, and yeah they're really easy surveys quite often sometimes they're quite interesting academic ones academic questions so I've been using these ones most but there are so many different ones out there just look for the ones that are kind of like worth the effort time wise it's something that I will do if I'm sitting watching TV with Elian, if he wants to watch a cartoon and I'm sitting with him, that's the kind of thing that I can just like easily do on the phone or on my laptop. Again, I will pop all the links in the box below if you guys are interested in checking those out. The next one is one that I found a few years ago just after I finished university and it is MTurk. Now you might have heard of this, it is run by Amazon and it's kind of like a micro job site but people post jobs that they want doing online 
and then you can apply for them. This doesn't pay in cash, it pays in Amazon vouchers. So if you're not gonna use Amazon vouchers, then just skip this because it's not worth your time. It is also US based, so it's for Amazon.com. But within the last year, I've noticed that a lot more things are being shipped to the US, a lot um, shipped to the UK a lot easier, or they are ordering it through Amazon UK and then shipping it to you. So I haven't actually used this for about three years um, and I was reminded about it recently watching somebody else's side hustle video and I went back into my account and within the last week I've made $28 doing really, really simple jobs. So if you're in the UK, there is not a huge amount of jobs that come up that we are eligible for, but every now and again there will be a few and they tend to be really simple and I can just bang out a few in the evenings. If you're in the US, you can probably make a decent amount of vouchers through this because there are a lot of US based ones that can be done that are really simple. So the last few I've done just straight up surveys that pay about a dollar a time, nice and easy. I've also done ones that require you to do a quick Google search and then just put in the links of the top three things that come up or to do a Google search, click on a link and input some sort of information. Again, these usually pay about a dollar a time, which is why I do them. There's some on there that people are asking you to do a lot more work for a tiny percentage of money and it's kind of not worth your time. If they're asking you to search for addresses or telephone numbers, quite often that can be time consuming and is not worth the 10 cents they're trying to pay you. So just be selective on what you choose to, choose to actually do if I was you, but you can find great jobs on there. Um, what we did when we were just come out of uni and I was doing it is we used to order memory cards for our cameras. So we would save enough points and then memory cards at the time were cheaper out there. They currently aren't, they're cheaper in the UK at the moment, but they were cheaper in the US to have branded memory cards for our cameras. So I do enough to be able to purchase a few memory cards and get it shipped over. At the moment I am saving for Christmas. So I will be doing a few jobs every week when I have a few spare minutes, saving all the money, and then towards Christmas time, I wanna order one of the wooden toys that I want for Ellie, and that is very difficult or very expensive to get in the UK, but I can get from the US. So yeah, MTurk, kind of micro jobs, worth a quick nose, definitely worth a nose if you're in the US, because if you're not doing anything else, you may as well be making money doing it. And then the last thing is product testing. Now, some sites you simply get the free product um, and you have to write the review or however they want you to respond to it, you get the product to test. But then there are a few sites which actually pay you to test a product. The only one I kind of look at these days is Thomson. Again, I will pop the link in the box below for you guys. Um, I've been using Thomson on and off since I started my first blog mainly because there were products that they wanted reviewed on blogs originally. Um, so I had that one. But quite often they will ask you to write honest Amazon reviews, they will ask you to tweet a picture or Instagram a picture or to send them feedback. Sometimes they ask for a blog, sometimes they ask for a YouTube video. I've never done one for a YouTube video yet. Um, but you can now ask for money as well for how much it is going to cost them for you to do these products across your social media sites. So Thomason is probably the main one, like I said, it's the only one I've used within the last three years. I was a member of a few other ones earlier on, but at the moment Thomason's the only one I kind of look at and it is any sort of product. I've had some really, really great products from there over the years. Um, sometimes products that I've never heard of or never used. I had a number of baby products from there which were great. We had some amazing bibs and some cutlery and like just general baby stuff. So that is worth a look, especially if you are into your social media anyway. Um, sign up to that, it'll be in the box below. You simply find a product you're interested in Find out what they're looking for and if you're willing to do what they're looking for. So if you're willing to do a YouTube video, you can, when you apply for it now, you can unselect 
certain things, you're just less likely to get it if you unselect them, unless you've got a huge following on the site that you're willing to advertise it on. Um, they ask for honest reviews, they're not like biased or anything like that, it's not dodgy. Um, sometimes the item will be free, sometimes the item will be discounted. So it's up to you to decide whether you're willing to pay for a product out of the amount that you're being that you're charging them to advertise it so it's up to you guys but it can be a good earner because some people are willing to pay decent money to have their item reviewed or for you to give them feedback of a product so there you go guys sorry if this is a little bit long but that is 10 ways that i have and some cases still do make money online like i said they are all side hustles i mean you could turn blogging and youtubing and match betting um, into full-time in incomes if you were inclined to, but we simply do this for added income alongside our photography companies. Um, but they are all worth a look if you are trying to make some money, some extra money, some savings, or to help you pay down debt. I have popped links to everything I have mentioned, plus more in the box below, so please go check them out. To be completely upfront with you guys, a few of those are affiliate links for me, so I will make a small amount of money if you sign up to them, but that is not why I did this video. A few people said they were interested in side hustles, so I'm giving it to you guys. If there is anything specific you would like an individual video on, so any of the topics I've mentioned or any of the ways of making money as I've mentioned, that you would like a more detailed video on let me know because i am more than happy to help or if i can't make a video on it entirely i can point you in the direction of blog posts or information about any of them but i will try my best to make videos on them to give you guys more details just write in the comments let me know plus if there you are in the uk and you have any other websites or phone apps or anything that people can make money on, also leave that because I'm happy to share more ideas with other people or to look into new sites to help give people information. But that is it for today guys. Give me a nice big thumbs up if you enjoyed this. Hit subscribe and join the Life Sorted community. I am shocked by how fast we've grown over the past few weeks and I am super, super chuffed guys. Um, I love that there are more people out there interested in simplifying their lives and just living a happier life the way they want it to be so guys i love you all love you all thank you for subscribing and i will see you again soon bye